Welcome to Schedule Anywhere. In this video, we'll be walking through the steps on how to get started. Feel free to keep this video open while you go through Schedule Anywhere and get familiar with it. In Part 1, we discussed how to create schedules, create employees, and add employees to schedules. Once you've gotten that far, you're ready to start scheduling. Before you can start entering in shifts, you have to define them. To set these up, go to Setup, Shifts, and click Add New Shift. Each shift must have a name, abbreviation, and start and end time. The name can be whatever you'd like. It could be the start and end time of the shift, it could be labeled day, evening, night, shift 1, shift 2, shift 3. Whatever you name your shift, just make sure you and your employees know what it represents. I'm going to call mine 7A dash 3P. And my abbreviation is simply going to be 7 dash 3. The abbreviation is used when you're looking at wider views like 28 or 42 days. The cells are smaller, so abbreviations are used to make it easier to read. Then enter in the start and end time. And if needed, a break length. Break lengths subtract from the total hours worked. For example, if your employee takes an hour for lunch, but you don't want that calculated towards the total hours worked, you'll enter in a break length here of 60 minutes. The program will then read this shift as 7 total hours rather than 8. You can then assign a color to this shift, and you're done. Continue to do this for all of your shifts. But before you go and create all of your shifts, I recommend writing them out on a piece of paper or typing them all out. That way you know exactly what you want to call your shifts and how you want to define them. That will make this process a lot easier. If you need to track additional information, you can do so by creating explanations. Explanations are a generic term that we use because everyone uses them a little bit differently. Some people use them to track where that employee will be working, like a location, a wing, a branch, a store. You can also use them to track reasons for time off, like vacation, or sick, or personal time. Explanations are set up the same way shifts are. Just select Add New Explanation, and give your explanation a name and abbreviation, and hit Save. There's no limit to how many explanations or shifts you can create. Once you've spent some time creating your shifts and explanations, you're ready to start scheduling. There are two ways to enter this information into the schedule. The first is to select the cell you want to enter the information into. Then, from the toolbar, select the shift and or explanation from the drop-down menus, and you're done. The other way is to double-click on the cell that you want to enter information into and select the shifts and explanations that you want in that cell. By doing it this way, you can select multiple shifts and multiple explanations. Keep in mind you can't put in overlapping shifts. If you try and do so, the program will warn you. You can enter in as many shifts and as many explanations as you'd like, just remember your shifts cannot conflict with one another. quickly schedule more than one day or more than one employee at the same time, just hold down your control key and select the desired cells and use the drop down menus on the toolbar. If you need to track additional information, you can always type in a note. This completes the basic setup for Schedule Anywhere. 
For more information, go to SchedulePlanner.com. You can also call 1-800-874-8801 or email support at SchedulePlanner.com.